think Suzuki music is、uh, obviously the best music school、uh, because we have a really fantastic、um, network of teachers. We have、uh, all the teachers bring their individual strengths to the school,、uh, and, uh, and of course, Liko, who is just like, you know, amazing. I always say she's like the brains of the school. Uh, overseeing us all and, and helping out, I really feel like we have an amazing network. Because of the, the philosophy. The idea of the philosophy is that we have a triangle, it's a teamwork between the parent, the students, and the teacher. And that's the big difference. The idea is to nurture the child with music. It's not just the music lesson, it's to nurture and give them a tool of expression. That's where we make the difference, I think. Between the Suzuki method and other Ways of、uh, teaching music is the family involvement because we、uh, Suzuki teachers are not only musicians but we're trained in early childhood education.、Suzuki、music is more of a community,、um, it's more of a family oriented school in that kids start really young、yeah. and they follow、mm -hmm. up through us until. You know, hopefully, up through their high school years. And so we watch them develop, and the entire school and the entire faculty get to know、um, students of all、mm -hmm. instruments. It's not just your own instrument because of group classes, because of, of、um, musicianship. And Were you a Suzuki student when you first started playing your instrument? No, afraid not. No? Nope, that was in the 1960s. My father hauled his old violin out of the attic at my grandmother's house and he showed it to me and I said, Dad, Dad, I want to play the violin. And I was seven years old at the time. And he tried to find a teacher for me because we lived in a small Nova Scotia town. And、uh, the, the lady that taught violin decided I was too young. And so she didn't start teaching me till I was 10 years old. And in my first lesson, she taught me how to hold the violin, hold the bow, play on the strings, and read music. That was my first lesson. <laughs> in a 10 year old. It's a lot in one lesson, yeah. So yeah. definitely wasn't the Suzuki method. I wasn't a Suzuki student when I、uh, first learned. I、uh, learned in a school system in New Brunswick、uh, when I was in grade four. So, I was quite a bit older than probably most of our students when they started. I was nine or ten years old, and it was all group l e s s o n no private lessons. So,、uh, in some ways, there's similar aspects to Suzuki、uh, lessons, but it wasn't Suzuki music,、uh, a repertoire, I should say. I decided I wanted to teach. I had a few friends that had studied the Suzuki method. And I,、um, I respected them as musicians. I knew them as musicians、uh, first, as performers. And I thought, wow, you know, if they're studying the Suzuki method, there must be something to this. So I started taking the courses, and then I was hooked. I thought, really, there's no other way to teach music to young children than to have the,、um, uh, the parents involved and that holistic approach. I did not grow up Suzuki. Um, I started when I was nine years old in a traditional classical setting.、Um, so I was rather new to the everybody, every child can、mm -hmm. philosophy, which is really refreshing and it makes perfect sense because if you think of it as the mother tongue, you learn、um, how to speak. Mm -hmm. Just by example, and being around the environment. And so it makes complete perfect sense that if you're around the environment、um, of music and, and other kids that play, that it becomes second nature. And, and, and that I find very inspiring.、Uh, I think what I like the most is the, that、uh, saying that when love is deep, what can be accomplished. For me, that's. I think、uh, what inspired me initially was、um, Suzuki's way of working with really young children.、Uh, I taught some a little bit before I became a Suzuki teacher, and I found that when I learned about Suzuki, there was no going back. It's like his philosophy and his,、um, 
techniques for teaching, especially the really young students, it's so successful compared to just trying to teach uh, really young children uh, traditionally. What is the best part about being a Suzuki music teacher? I would have to say developing relationships with both the parents and the students. Um, that's really nice and very exclusive to Suzuki uh, because traditionally you don't you're not usually involved with parents other than the parents drop them off and then they leave. So I, I would have to say it would be mm -hmm. building relationships with both the parents, the whole entire family unit. The smile of the children when they accomplish something that sparks from them, that's, uh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful of everything that you do with children. You know, they, they, are, they don't wait, it's just there. It's their enjoyment, their joy, no, that's... Uh... Over the years, right now, I think it's being let into the lives of all of my families. Because I realize more and more that every family has a unique background and a unique history and a story. When, when you look at all of our families in group class and the kids in group class, they're, they're students, they're children on the outside, but on the inside they're all very unique and it's, it's really interesting the people that I've met over 28 years, very interesting. And some of them, actually many of them I'm still in touch with. Well you probably all know right now that, um, that Jane, our newest teacher, was one of my very first students in Toronto. One Thursday evening, I was finishing up my week of teaching. I was sitting right here. I looked left to the computer screen and a picture popped up. And it was a picture of a little dark-haired girl holding the violin in a frilly dress. And I didn't have a clue who that was, but I read the email and it was Jane saying hi and touching base with me and uh, and saying, you know, I'm coming to Ottawa next week, can we meet? And I thought, holy mackerel. <laughs> yeah. That was fabulous. And now look, yeah, she's going to be teaching with us. So that's, that's wonderful.